So good morning everybody, you're joining me on the river this morning Having my first cast of the air and you know what, it's an absolutely lovely feeling to be out again at last Don't know about you guys but it's been a long hard winter Not terrible weather but I don't know, just some winters are harder to endure than others So I've got a few firsts going on today. This is a new piece of water that I'm fishing today. So I'm just, I've come to get the note. I'm actually fishing it in pretty good conditions. That was a fair old bump of water over the last few days. And yesterday and today it's dropping off, but it's dropping off quite slowly. Normally this river clears really quickly. But we've had so much rain recently that the ground's obviously soaked so it's taken a long time for all the extra water to run off so the other first is that I'm also fishing my own fly for the first time today so I'm fishing a copper bodied black and yellow tube that I've knocked up it's also got a tungsten cone because I'm very conscious that I want to be fishing really slow and really deep I think last year I learnt the lesson to either fish at the very very bottom or at the very very top Whenever I see fish running, I'm going to fish with a sunray. This is my plan for the year. And whenever not, I'm going to literally like dredge the bottom. I'm also fishing with a new line. So I've got another barrier switch line, but this time I'm fishing with a 78 version. Last year I got a 6.7. And it was very, very nice for a small river in that the presentation was absolutely beautiful. It was really, really light. But it wouldn't really cope with the big tube. And I was struggling a bit when there was wind. So I thought since there's such good value, I'd come for another one of these barrier lines. And so far, even though I am flicking out a tremendously heavy fly, it seems to be doing okay. It is lovely to be out though, I mean, it's, there's snowdrops in the bank, there's a touch of frost everywhere, but it's, it's a lovely day, it's going to be clear and there's no wind. And the other thing that I've got going for me today is that it's a really big tide, it's the biggest tide of the month today.
I'm in here. What am I in to? That's gotta be a kelp. Right, I thought I don't know what the hell I'd hooked there. I thought I hooked like a monstrous brown trout or something. Try and get it in quick. Come on, bud, we'll get you away soon. It just, I knew it wasn't a salmon, I knew it wasn't a fresh fish because it just felt weak. I like catching salmon, I don't really want to catch kelts. I know some people sort of maybe don't mind catching them as a bycatch, but I think like they've done their job and I want them to uh, to get away without being molested. This one's really well mended, like it's really silver. Mm, good, good. Well they say that spring has lie next to kelts, so Maybe that's a good sign. I thought this pool looked quite interesting. It's very slow and it looks like the type of pool that you might just walk past. What I have learned from my day to day is obviously a little bit about the water, which is important because I am only going to be fishing here for the spring. I also realize I need potentially a bigger rod. So I don't want to use my big rod, a 13 and a half foot rod. I need something with a bit more backbone than this rod to throw the heavy tungsten cone flies. It's a little bit hard work with this. So maybe something like a 12 foot eight weight would just fill the gap between what I've got. Anyway, I don't know. I don't want to buy any more rods, really. I'm not a tackle tart by nature, I really, I'm really not. So that fish, that kelp there, was the first fish I've caught in my own fly. Now a couple of people have said to me that once I, first, I catch the first fish on my own fly then it totally changes the game. Well I must admit I feel absolutely no different it was if I'd caught that on, on somebody else's fly. I think because it's a kelt. I just think there's something sad about kelts. I don't know I don't know why I feel like that. I mean you know hopefully they survive and go back to sea and come back again. They just kind of look sad compared to a real salmon. I think it's also quite satisfying to have caught a fish though because I've been trying out some different techniques today. So obviously over the close season, I imagine like most salmon anglers, I've been thinking a lot about salmon angling. And I've been thinking about what my strategies are going to be. 
for this year and how I'm going to approach things differently. And like I said before, very much my plan was to fish very, very slow and deep. And I think tungsten flies are the answer. It's just, if you want to be right in the fish's face. Sometimes even copper tubes don't seem to get down as much as I think you'd want them to. And I'm also suspecting, even though I am fishing with an extra fast sink tip, I don't know how effective sink tips are. This is, this might be a controversial view, but you know what it is, I'm not convinced. I've certainly used a few of them. I think the best way to get the fly in the bottom is to just chuck a massive heavy fly. But this outfit is not going to be up to scratch. And the fly that I'm fishing at the moment isn't actually even as heavy as the one I was fishing before which I lost up a tree unfortunately but it was a copper bodied version of this fly with the big tungsten cone on so casting it was even worse than casting this be a kelp. Yeah, it's got to be a kelp. Just a lot stronger feel than the last one. The last one felt so weak. Beat you for the sake of getting you off quickly. <laughs> come on, don't go in a way. See where the line is. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Get ahead of it. Oh. Right, I'm learning all the time. Yeah, I need to attach my net to my. Uh, myself the way I used to have it now having it free like this is no use I thought I was just gonna let the beach this fish <clears throat> that's not a flipping kelt that's a bloody spring <sighs> shit that's a springer <laughs> I thought it was got springer what a muppet I was trying to catch the flipping line and just get it off double quick shit Shit. No way. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I totally, utterly can't believe it. I thought you were killed. Right, hang on. Oh, this is a bit unexpected.
But I'll tell you what, since I nearly pulled you straight in, I don't think that you've used up much strength. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. We've got the hooks out, yes. Well, I've done it. I've caught my first ever spring salmon. Mwah! It's covered in sea lice. And I thought it was a kelt and I literally just bullied it in. believe it I actually caught a springer it's the first time I've been out this year I've caught a springer I thought it was a kelt I literally what was I thinking I thought it was a kelt I bullied the damn thing in I was trying to grab the leader just to quickly beach it and get it off my look was in today it really was my look was absolutely in today I wasn't even going to make this video I had no intentions I just came up to here to learn the water and I've caught a springer, come on, come on, 2024. Let us hope this is the year of the salmon. Everybody who's out there spring fishing at the moment, come on guys, believe in it. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. My first ever springer, brilliant. Oh, I can't believe I'm off the mark for the year. On my own fly as well. Well, that's me done, I'm cold. I've got cold toes and it's getting dark, so I'm gonna call it a day. I can't actually believe I've caught a fish. I, I didn't expect that at all. I expected to spend days, weeks, months fishing for, for nothing, just blanking and blanking and blanking. And then, what, I've come down my first day out, I think it's February the 10th, um, or it might be February the 9th, or it might even be February the 8th, I've no idea. It's February and I've got a springer. So before I sign off on the video, I'm going to have one quick note. Don't ask me where I caught the fish, I can't say. It's often the case that I can't say, it's not because I don't want to say, it's because if you make videos and put them online, it does really limit the access that you have to certain waters, to certain beats and certain clubs. So, that being said, I am a member of two fishing clubs, the Northumberland Anglers Federation, which costs £215 a year, and also I'm a member of the Tyneside Angler Syndicate, which costs 200 and I think it's £95 a year. So that basically is two fishing clubs that really will give you a chance of fish. Most of my fish come from their waters uh, all the ones that you've seen me catch in previous videos those two clubs will give you a very realistic chance of catching a fish for very little out there so that's all I'm gonna say on the matter get out there and buy a permit get out there and catch a fish if I can do it anybody can believe me it's um, yeah fate must have been smiling on me today but let's I'm, I'm gonna take it I'm not knocking it so anyway we'll see you in the next video I'm off the mark <laughs> Hear me little Jackie, no one smoke me backy, have the bit of cracky till the boat comes in. Dance to the daddy sing, to the mummy dance to the daddy, to the mummy sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in.